Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about an engineering device known as a contra roller apparatus. This device is used to measure coefficient of friction between two surfaces. So, suppose we want to measure coefficient of friction between aluminium and steel. So, uh, either the rollers would be made up of aluminium and the block would be made up of steel or vice versa. So, I'll be attaching a text document regarding this which would help you in knowing all the formulas that are used here. And I'll show how you can create a simple animation in this. So first, we'll select the motion analysis from this and then we'll go to this option. This is the solid contact option. So first of all, we'll basically create a contact between these two surfaces. You can select any material you want. So suppose say for the roller one, you want to select aluminium dry. So you can select that or whichever one. So for the purpose of this video, I'm selecting acrylic. You can select whatever you want. Then I'll also create a contact between this roller and this device. An important thing is the rollers would be basically made up of the same material and since it's a contra roller apparatus, so the sense of rotation of this roller would be opposite to this one. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll use this option. This option basically is a motor option so that you can govern the rotation of these rollers so say you want an angular speed of 20 revolutions per minute you can type in here and uh, this arrow is giving the sense of rotation of this roller so click on ok and then select this option and click on this now if you click it on uh, click on this option it will reverse the sense of this and will show this arrow will be showing in which direction the roller is rotating so click on 20 rpm and another important thing is the fact that both of these rollers would be rotating at the same RPM in magnitude. Now we'll enable gravity. So click on why this arrow points downward. So it shows that gravity would be acting in the downward direction. So click on OK. And click. And click on calculate motion. So see. From this animation, what we basically saw is the fact that uh, the block is basically executing a simple harmonic motion and the rollers are op operating in different sense of rotations. But the important thing is the fact that if suppose the rotation of this is edited and it's made in the reverse direction. Now we'll see what happens to this. So again, click on calculate. The roller will fall off so so it's pretty important that you we get the sense of rotation of each roller correct so again we'll go to the edit feature and we'll click on reverse and then click calculate motion so this is it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and if you like the video subscribe to this channel I'll be showing up many great videos ahead. Thanks.